it's Alex. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm a tasty producer, but today I'm gonna show you my digs. <laughs> so welcome to my dining room. This is actually the least used room in my whole apartment, but I made sure to add lots of personal touches throughout my apartment. You'll see artwork from the kids I took care of in Sweden. I thought it was super cute to frame it and hang it up, and also it reminds me of them. I also added this printout of Stockholm that I made myself. To kind of tie that whole corner together, I did it myself, I saved some money. So as I mentioned, I used to live in Sweden, so a lot of the elements in my apartment are kind of Scandinavian themed, and that includes lots of bright colors and whites. But again, this is like the least used room in my apartment, so I'm kind of thinking of changing my dining room into more of like a video studio that I can use for work. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. So just a couple steps away is my kitchen. It's a pretty small space, but I've done my best to maximize the storage. I've added a bar cart, and that's where I keep most of like my cuter dishes, so they're on display. And most of my uglier dishes, I keep in the cupboard. Also, I've utilized my wall to add more storage. I've hung my wine glasses and some other utensils, some plants, and also I have this cool magnet strip to hang some spices and knives. Now I also do keep some pans in my oven itself. I just have to remember to take them out before I preheat it. <laughs> Let's check out my fridge. So I don't actually have too much in my fridge right now, mainly because I do most of my cooking at work since we have such a great kitchen there. And also I'm going out of town tomorrow so I didn't want to stock up with too much. But have just some basics to tide me over until I leave. So this bar is what sold me on the apartment initially. I love how open it makes the space and it's great for entertaining. Let's move over to my living room, my favorite room in the whole apartment. So one of my favorite pieces in my whole apartment is my couch. It's actually a very nice and expensive couch, but I got it secondhand online, so I saved a ton of money that way. And I think it really ties the whole room together. I love having friends over to chill and super comfortable too. So it's my first time living alone and it was so exciting to me to make this space completely my own. So I was sure to add personal touches from my own life. I love traveling and I collect a lot of different knickknacks from my travels. So I like to spread them throughout my house and add kind of a personal touch. Because I've cooked my whole life, I've collected so many cookbooks at this point that I have them throughout my whole apartment as like decorative pieces and coffee table books. So I also have a lot of original pieces in my apartment. This is a painting my friend made me and it's actually a depiction of my soul, which is pretty cool. I also made this light fixture. I got all of these pieces separately and I assembled them so I have this an industrial fixture. So when I was decorating my apartment, I learned that mirrors are a great way to open up the space. So I added these big mirrors to make my living room look bigger. And over here is another little corner I have. I actually made this pot out of a grocery bag. I kind of folded down and added some twine to make it look really cute. And the stand is a DIY project from Nipsey. All right, let's go on to the next room. So this is my tiny hallway. This is also my closet that I keep some winter clothes that I never use. And now my bathroom. My bathroom's also really small, but I've done my best to maximize the space. I have another bar cart in here because it's a great way to add storage space and it's so easy and versatile. And this is my bedroom, the last room in my apartment. One really cool thing about my bedroom is that I have this weird little nook and I love makeup, so I decided to make it into a vanity. I measured out the dimensions and found a vanity that fit exactly in here. So it works pretty well. The only thing is it is a little bit short for the height of my chair, but I make it work. And here's another almost dead plant. <laughs> so over here I have my big dresser. 
This I really need because although I have a pretty big closet, you can never have too much room for clothes. So I have lots of great space in my closet. I have tons of shoes, and so it made sense to put them on top because I had this cool little shelf up here. And then all of my clothes are here. I like to keep them hung up. And I'm actually in the middle of packing because I'm going to London tomorrow, so don't judge me. So this is my bed. I love my bed because it's so cozy. I'm obsessed with pillows, so I have way too many of them. This is actually a map of Stockholm, and that's a map of Los Angeles, so two of the places I was living. My sheets are made out of linen because they keep me really cool at night. Then I have my down comforter because I just love a cozy down comforter. And of course, just an extra blanket because I just love blankets. <laughs> so this is actually my MLB umpire ring. My uncle's an umpire, so everyone in my family got one. And that's one of the coolest things I have in my apartment. You might notice how healthy this plant is, and that's because it's fake. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my space and even got some tips and tricks for your own. Maybe I'll see you again if Nifty helps me with my YouTube studio. Now it's time to get out of here. See you later.